Have you ever pondered the lengths physicists go to uncover the mysteries of the universe? The world of physics is a realm of unimaginable extremes, where scientists push the boundaries of knowledge and technology to understand the fundamental laws that govern our existence. From creating the most intense magnetic fields, to cooling matter to near absolute zero, this is a journey into the heart of the most extreme experiments in physics. These extraordinary endeavours are not merely for the thrill, but serve as gateways to uncovering the profound rules that govern everything from the smallest particles to the most massive celestial bodies. These experiments, by exploring extreme conditions like high energy, immense pressure, ultra-cold temperatures and quantum states, are the keys to unlocking the secrets of our universe. So, buckle up and prepare for a thrilling adventure that transcends the ordinary. Join us as we delve into these extreme experiments that push the boundaries of our understanding. Imagine creating a magnetic field a thousand times stronger than an MRI machine's and almost destroying the lab in the process. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie, but the real-life adventure of physicist Shojiro Takeyama. In 2018, Takeyama embarked on a daring quest to generate the most intense magnetic field ever produced in a laboratory. Now you might be wondering, how did he achieve this? The answer is as explosive as the result. Takeyama caused a massive explosion. The blast was so powerful it came dangerously close to obliterating the lab, but the risk was worth it. The explosion birthed a magnetic field of unprecedented intensity, a force a thousand times mightier than the magnetic resonance imaging machines we use in hospitals. But why go to such lengths to create this mega-magnetic field? It's not about breaking records or living on the edge. It's about the pursuit of knowledge. The creation of such intense magnetic fields is a gateway into the unknown, a tool that allows scientists to study exotic materials and observe behaviors that remain hidden under normal conditions. Imagine being an explorer, setting foot on an uncharted land, with the power to unveil secrets that have been hidden for ages. That's the kind of thrill these intense magnetic fields offer to scientists. They can probe into the mysteries of superconductors, delve into the enigmas of plasma physics, and even explore the unknown realms of nuclear fusion research. The experiment by Takeyama is a testament to human curiosity and the lengths we are willing to go to understand the universe. It's not just about generating the strongest magnetic field, but about what this field can reveal. It's about unlocking the secrets of materials that could be the key to future technologies and discoveries that can change our understanding of the physical world. This experiment allows us to observe behaviors that would otherwise be hidden under normal conditions. And it's through such daring endeavors that we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and explore the mysteries of our universe. At temperatures barely above absolute zero, matter begins to behave in some very strange ways. Imagine a world where atoms move as slow as a snail, where the normal rules of physics are turned upside down. This is the world scientists have sought to understand by achieving the coldest temperatures ever recorded. Scientists have cooled matter to temperatures just a few fractions of a degree above absolute zero. To put that into perspective, absolute zero is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. It's the theoretical limit, the point at which atoms stop moving entirely. At these frosty temperatures, matter behaves in ways that are impossible to observe at higher temperatures. It's like stepping into a realm of science fiction, but it's very much a reality in the world of quantum physics. So, what happens to matter at these ultra-cold temperatures? Well, it begins to exhibit some truly mind-bending properties, such as superconductivity and superfluidity. Superconductivity is when a material can conduct electricity without any resistance, while superfluidity is a state of matter where it can flow without any friction. Both these phenomena are impossible to observe under normal conditions. But why would scientists want to venture into this icy world? The answer lies in the quest to explore quantum phenomena. At these ultra-cold temperatures, physicists have been able to observe a state of matter known as a Bose-Einstein condensate. This is where atoms can occupy the same space and energy state, acting as a single quantum entity. It's like a crowd of people all moving in perfect unison, a dance choreographed by the laws of quantum mechanics. 
Achieving such low temperatures is no easy feat, but it's a journey that physicists are willing to take. It opens up a new frontier of exploration, uncovering the rules that govern everything from the smallest particles to the most massive celestial objects. The chilling cold of these experiments opens a window into the bizarre world of quantum mechanics. To simulate the immense pressures at the core of planets, scientists are crushing materials with pressures millions of times greater than Earth's atmospheric pressure. Cranking up the pressure in the name of science, researchers have developed an ingenious tool known as a diamond anvil cell. This device, as the name suggests, uses two diamonds to squeeze tiny samples of materials between their tips to create these high-pressure environments. The choice of diamonds isn't for glamour, but for their hardness and transparency, which allow scientists to observe the material's behaviour under pressure. The pressures achieved in these tiny cells are truly mind-boggling. We're talking about pressures that are over a million times greater than the pressure at sea level. To put that into perspective, it's like having the weight of a thousand elephants concentrated on the tip of your finger. But why go to such extreme lengths, you might wonder? Well, by studying materials under these intense pressures, scientists can discover new forms of matter that don't exist under normal conditions. For instance, hydrogen, which is normally a gas, can turn into a metal under extreme pressures, a state that could exist in the core of gas giant planets like Jupiter. Moreover, these experiments have far-reaching implications for understanding the cosmos. The pressures inside these diamond anvil cells can mimic the conditions found deep within Earth and other celestial bodies. By observing how different elements and compounds behave under these conditions, scientists can make educated guesses about the composition of the Earth's core or even the interiors of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. In essence, these diamond anvil cells are like tiny laboratories for creating and studying the extreme conditions inside planets. They allow us to explore environments we could never directly observe, and in doing so, they deepen our understanding of the universe and its most mysterious corners. These high-pressure experiments offer us a glimpse into the heart of planets. From the coldest temperatures to the strongest magnetic fields, these experiments are pushing physics to its limits. Indeed, the pursuit of knowledge often takes us to the fringes of comprehension, where the ordinary rules of physics seem to bend and warp. Physicist Shojiro Takeyama's experiment in 2018, for instance, generated the most intense magnetic field ever produced in a laboratory, a field a thousand times stronger than an MRI machine's. This audacious experiment, which came perilously close to destroying the lab, has allowed scientists to study exotic materials and observe behaviours that would otherwise remain hidden under normal conditions. Then we have the scientists who have cooled matter to temperatures that are only fractions of a degree above absolute zero. At these frosty extremes, atoms move incredibly slowly and matter behaves in ways that are impossible to observe at higher temperatures. This opens up a world of quantum phenomena, like Bose-Einstein condensates, where atoms can occupy the same space and energy state, acting as a single quantum entity. On the other end of the spectrum, using diamond anvil cells, researchers have simulated the intense pressures found at the core of planets, subjecting materials to pressures millions of times greater than Earth's atmospheric pressure. These experiments are revealing new forms of matter and shedding light on the behaviour of elements under planetary conditions, deepening our understanding of the composition of celestial bodies like Earth's core and even exoplanets. The development of a camera capable of capturing 100 billion frames per second has revolutionised imaging technology. This ultra-fast camera can literally film the propagation of light, allowing us to visualize light as it moves, with potential applications ranging from medical diagnostics to quantum computing and communications. Researchers have also brought an object close to complete stillness at the quantum level by cooling it to nearly absolute zero. This is a significant step in understanding quantum ground states where objects cease all motion in the classical sense and exhibit purely quantum behaviours. Finally, we have the high-energy experiments at particle colliders like the Large Hadron Collider, where protons are accelerated to near the speed of light and smashed together to probe the fundamental particles and forces of the universe.
These collisions have led to the discovery of particles like the Higgs boson and have provided critical insights into the standard model of particle physics. As we look to the future, these extreme experiments will continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. They will bring us ever closer to unraveling the universe's most profound mysteries, from the smallest particles to the most massive celestial objects. They will keep challenging us, forcing us to rethink what we know and expand the horizons of our knowledge. These experiments remind us that the pursuit of knowledge often requires us to step outside our comfort zone and venture into the extreme.